right, we'll get started with Matt, who's got the first question. Who's up first? We'll go with Ed in the back right. We'll get you the microphone, Ed. Hi. Mission accomplished yeah. to get a split? Yeah, well, we certainly were. Our goal was to win them both, but to get out of here after losing the first one with a win today is huge. Other questions, Jay? What did you see from Reagan's tonight? He, he just wasn't commanding the ball. Um, you know, his stuff was plenty good. He wasn't getting swing and miss on the changeup. I'm, I'm guessing because they weren't strike the ball pitches. Um, you know, his velo was fine. He just was not able to get ahead, and, and they ran the pitch count up quickly. Okay. Other questions for Matt? I'm going to Ron up front here, Emily. In addition to what he does at the plate and behind the plate, what kind of leadership role has just Salvi played guiding a team with a bunch of younger players? Yeah, it's enormous. You cannot put a, put a number on what he does out there for us in every aspect, whether that's, you know, in the clubhouse, on the field, you know, clearly as, his, as a player. Um, but, yeah, he's got a great feel for the game. He understands the moment. He understands when he needs to say something, when he doesn't need to say something. Um, he and I have grown our relationship tremendously. It's, it's a real joy to be around him on an everyday basis. Other questions for Matt? Mm -hmm. uh, Jalen, on your left, Matt. <clears throat> hey, Q. Apologize if this has been asked already coming from the clubhouse. Um, Michael Garcia, you mentioned pregame that you put him in the lineup because you like his uh, bats that he was going to give against Carlos Rondon. What did you see out of him just in that situation tonight, four for five? Yeah, he, he rose to the challenge. You know, the first at bat was not what we would have hoped for, but after that, he was locked in and, you know, he stole a base. He played really good defensively. You know, he, he had a great game tonight all around. It was something that we were hoping uh, for him and for us, and he came through. And one more, um, with Bobby Wood Jr. and Vinny Pasquatino continuing to um, not really produce like you want, just the offense coming through and helping pick those guys up, what did you think of just them out there tonight? Yeah, we got performances from multiple people tonight that, you know, you're hoping – come up big you know Hampson had good at bats we, we already talked about Michael Tommy's big hit Salvi's homer um, you know so it doesn't have to be from the same guys all the time that's what makes a good team that you're not relying on one or two people second row your left man um, Q you were able to hold Aaron Judge in check again why do you think you have been successful again against Judge these two games well you know that he's he's an elite player so we're pitching him tough we're trying to trying to execute pitches trying to move the ball around you know it's no secret that you know we you can't throw him the same pitch can't throw him fastballs in the zone you know, it's just you got to move the ball around you got to trust your stuff you got to change speeds you know and, and so far we've been able to do that you know and it's every time he comes up there it's you're in danger um but our guys have good stuff and they they are attacking and executing uh, standing in the back right matt annie Q, uh, after the first inning that Rodon had against you guys, just for your offense to, to stay with it and, and make the adjustments that they needed, what, what did you see out of that to, that led to the fourth inning? Well, he came, he came out on fire. I mean, he, he was amped up in upper 90s. He'd thrown at, some, at one point, I think it was like 17 out of 19 strikes or something ridiculous. Um, you know, Salvi's homer clearly was a big spot there, and then Yuli had another productive at-bat. Uh, and then the pitch count got back to somewhat normal. But if I'm not mistaken, that third or the fourth inning was somewhere around 30 pitches. So, I mean, that's going to take a toll on you. your adrenaline's fired up. But, you know, we, our guys just battled those at bats in the fourth inning. But his stuff was his stuff was electric. I'll take two last ones. Jalen on your left. Hugh, what led to the decision to go back to Angel Zerpa in that key spot in the game and then also to see the rest of the bullpen kind of bounce back from the game one? Well, we, you know, we put Zerpa in that spot the other day because we believe in him. It didn't work out that way. But today, you know, you saw more of what we would have expected. Now, struck out Soto, that doesn't happen all that often. We were, you know, we're hopeful to get him out. The double play was enormous. You know, the defense tonight was outstanding all the way around. Tommy made a few nice plays. The double plays were huge. Um, but, you know, that 
you don't ever expect you're going to keep a team like that scoreless out of the bullpen, but to to keep them in check, our guys, that was more representative of what our guys can do than what the other night was. I'll finish up with Ron on your right. <clears throat> Were you surprised when you found out that Cole and Sam Long went to play catch in Central Park yesterday? No, we encouraged it. I mean, we, we said if we're not coming in here to work out, so if anybody needs to work out, that's what we're going to do. All right, Matt, thanks so much. Appreciate it. We'll okay. see you in Kansas Thank City. You. All right.